You go forward and you ask for the truths. And yet when the truths are given to you, they do not fit you, or so you say. They are not welcome. They are not for your highest good. They are not for the future. They are not for this and they are not for that. And so those that speak from a higher truth, from a spiritual proudness, cast their pearls upon many swine, swine with deaf ears, swine with closed hearts, swine with eyes that are blind and that cannot even hear themselves. But each of you at some level, at some time, in some portion of your existence has been a spiritual leader, has been a spiritual teacher, has been what you seek to be now and tap into that energy of the past that you push away for everyone that sits on this day is still afraid of their power you are still afraid of your future you are still afraid of your past and you are still afraid of your God given abilities each of you is stunted to some aspect as the fear immobilizes you and petrifies you as one that is seen by Medusa. You have allowed everything outside of you to keep you in a standstill. You do not see through your limited perception of humanness all the possibilities that was promised you, that is innate within you, that is within your cellular structure and your stellular structure. Everything that is anything is within you already. You are the same molecular content of all life of all stars, of all black holes, all white holes, all red giants, and all white dwarfs. You are the same molecular content of your past, your future, and what comes beyond your future. And yet, you think it is something that you do not have. You do not see that you are the diamond in the rough, that life is loving you and polishing you and pushing your buttons and fauceting you and honing you because it loves you, because you asked it to on an energetic level. Whatever your life experience is, you have given permission for it. It does not knock upon your door as a demon or a darkness. It comes as a God gift. It comes as a master teaching and it comes because it loves you. All of you have the ability to be conscious channels 24 wow. hours a day, seven days a week, through eternity. That is who you are. There is only a minuscule part of you that sleeps and has amnesia and does not remember. You are a giant iceberg below the surface of your humanness that is about to surface. The energy of Atlantis rising is you. The energy of all the new planets and the stars being discovered is you. Every scientific discovery is a part of you that is being discovered. Every part and particle of the healing energies in the medicine world is a part of you that is being healed. You must believe with all of your heart and soul that there is a cure for every disease that plagues mankind. You must believe that all people that were once homeless now live in homes of love with hearts full of joy. It is up to you, those of you that walk the spiritual path actively, to hold the future in your heart. That there is no more child abuse, that there is no more negativity, that there is no more darkness in your world, that all news is so joyful and full of love, that there is nothing but good news 
on your planet. You are the creators, the sculptors, and the drawers of the future of your planet Earth. It is not up to God. It is up to the God that is here, housed in your physical body, housed in your heart, and housed in your dreams. The second coming comes from within, not externally. External only mirrors the internal. When the internal is ready to be seen, it can be no other way. So as you discover new levels of who you are, new levels of your light, new levels of your abilities, new levels of how to love, then your world will show you that. But until your world is ready to show you that, you must believe it for them. You all have in your life someone that you see not progressing. And you see their soul, and you know their soul is grander than 10,000 suns. And you hold the hope for them until they are ready to see it for themselves. Do this for everything. When you hear a negative thought, a negative word, a negative slander, or negative news, immediately focus on the thought of the purest energy you can imagine to surround that subject, that event, or that person. You are the promise of the future. And it is important that you remember that. Everything in your world wants to give to you. Everything and everyone. But are you willing to receive? You say you are, but your lives do not show it. Your pocketbooks do not show it. Your heart does not show it. The molecules of your world believe what your energy field says. It is as Morse code, every thought. You forgot you said it. You forgot you thought it. But the molecular content, the quantum, the quantum consciousness of your world sees it as a code and then begins to create it for you. Everything responds to you. It can be no other way. If you do not like your world, then change the way you think. Change the way you present yourself. Change the way you believe. Many of you still hold on to the beliefs of the past. Even this day has shifted energies. And that is being felt on many levels. The old ways, the old thoughts, the old manuscripts do not necessarily serve the now. You are prophecy busters. You change the prophecies. You, every one of you on planet Earth, change the disasters, the catastrophes into minuscule problems. Nothing has come to pass as has been prophesied. Why not? Because you shifted it by your thoughts. You were not going to receive disaster. You were not going to receive economic upheaval. You were not going to receive the end of the earth. Now turn that to not receiving the fires all over the world. Turn that into receiving rain. Turn that into receiving what it is that you know needs to be here. Because the masters in you no, the humanness has a good day of knowing now, now and then, but the master that you are knows what you need, knows what your world needs, and knows how to go about it. <laughs>